Welcome back, everybody, to Silver One. Well, Silver One. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Silver One Forest. Welcome back, everybody, to Silver Run Forest. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to hopefully um, sell enough timber to pay off our bank loan, and then we're going to advance time and start getting some products from our productions and uh, make some money doing that, too. If we don't have enough timber to pay off the bank load, then we certainly should have enough money after we sell some product from our productions uh, to do that. All right, so um, I have logged quite a bit uh, on this property. And uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the top of the ridge clear. Um, and then this will be our landing because everything on the other side of that ridge is pretty steep and we might even end up using a yard uh, to pull the, all that up to the top of the landing. Uh, but up to this point, it's been, you know, worked out pretty good for me just to pull the, the timber down to this uh, landing area down here for loading. So uh, we very well could have enough timber here uh, to pay the bank off. We owe the bank $240,000, so that's basically four, no, that's only two, that's right, that's only two 12-meter trailers and one 6-meter trailer. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we have enough, and then probably some after this. All right, so let's get this final tree cut, and then we need to load the trailers up. This needs to be changed back to 6 meters. Hope everybody's doing well. This is my first time recording Silver Run Forest after uh, the holiday season. I've been... Um, busy doing other things and also fighting a daggone cold, man. Uh, it's not COVID. I took two separate COVID tests just to make sure, um, but it is a cold and it's kind of got me a bit under the weather here. <laughs> All right, let's just take the Rotney up to the top of the ridge here and we'll park it there because I'm going to, I'd have to do a little bit more clearing before we set up the, the second landing uh, up at the top here. And then we're going to hop in um, the high lift and start loading these trailers up and taking them down to um, the container warehouse to get them sold. And the reason it's still nighttime is because I'm trying to get these, these loans paid off before it rolls over to the next day, you know, so we don't have to pay as much interest. Uh, plus, it's kind of fun, you know, working it at, at night. It's a little bit different, you know, with the lights and stuff. I don't mind it. Uh, we have quite a bit of timber too. This is all spruce and pine here, and there's a lot of wood here too. And this is all going to go to our production because if you've been watching all along, you've noticed, uh, you've probably remembered me saying that um, spruce and pine don't bring as much money uh, if you sell it directly, uh, but it's perfect for our productions. Plus, we still have several um, IT runner log trailer loads, like three full loads sitting down at the lumber mill waiting to be loaded in there so we have lots of wood uh for the productions uh so anyway yeah that's what that is this is just the the nubs these are our six meter logs we should have at least one one container load of, of those and then i'm guessing a good solid two and a half maybe three may, well maybe even possibly yeah probably about three and then some loads of 12 meter logs there okay so let's jump into the high lift and get this loaded up here. We got quite a mess here, so I'm not gonna spend too much time trying to get it lined up. I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff and loading it up. Uh, but let's, yeah, let's at least give this a bit of a shove here. push her down that's not really helping, helping a whole lot uh oh oh never mind I was going to say my buttons aren't working but I forgot to switch back over to this 
that out a little bit, make sure that's all the way open. I'm going to give another push from here. Yeah, this is just a mess. I tried to keep it straight, but as time went on, it just got to be a bit of a pain in the neck. So we'll just grab what we can and start loading it up. It's not going to be pretty, but it'll work. This is such a mess. Right, let's see if we can get a couple logs in here. Okay. Now we'll come back this way and... Swing that around there that up in the air a little just to get them in here all right we got one in good Since the um, container warehouse is so close by, I'm just running one truck rather than trying to load two up at a time. Seems to work okay. Let's get that out and down. Yeah, I might, I might have to pick just one or two out at a time until it gets uh, thinned out a little bit because it's just so tangled here. Anyway, um, I'll get the, the trailer loaded and then I'll bring you back uh, when it's time to sell. Alright guys, we have our first load ready to drop off. We should make around 100 grand from this. shave off another huge chunk of the loan. Oh, I forgot to close the, <laughs> the back of the container. And the lugs are still there. That's the important thing. And yeah, $104,000. Let's, um, let's repay that down to say right about there. That's good enough. All right, so we still have 135, so that's one more of these trailers and then a six meter. But I'll probably just, oh, 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 okay, we're good. <laughs> you, don't, you don't get much warning, man, with those leaks. Uh, we'll probably just keep dropping off the 12 meter trailers, though, as long as we still have full loads to do so. So I'll see you back here and want to get another load. And load number two coming up here. Another $104,000 of change. Let's repay even more of the loan. Um, that was a bit much, but that's okay. We just need enough money to buy another 40 meter container, which we should have. All right, so the next load will get us completely out of debt with the bank and then put a little extra Actually, quite a, a lot of extra cash in our pocket. I'll see you when we have that load. All right, so it looks like I underestimated a little bit on how many 12-meter trailers we're going to have. So we might as well load up the 6-meter. I mean, we're going to have to do it anyway. And um, we only owe the bank, yeah, $20,000. So we'll get this other one in the... Oh, oops, I need it. What are you doing? Get that out a little bit. And then we'll just leave the container here, the 12 meter container, until I get more uh, timber cut here. 
Man, I thought for sure we would have had at least three trailers, but it's all right. Okay. I'm going to move the, the big one out of the way here. Let's just back him up this way. That finishes out the six meter trailer. Put these back over in their little staging spot. And that will get us out of debt. And with about $30,000 or so to spare. I sure like this machine. You guys have probably heard me say that a million times already, but <laughs> it is just really fun to use. I especially like this view here, you know, where you can keep your view on the on the grapple. Fun stuff, man, fun stuff. Alright, let's we'll just park this guy up here. And we'll pull that back in. Well, maybe not that far. Drop it down. All right. It's already strapped. Well, it's about time for us to wash our pickup truck. Okay. Let's go sell it. $52,457. Let's go here. And we are out of debt, ladies and gentlemen. Hallelujah. <laughs> and we still have $34,000 left. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back home and I'm going to sleep. And I'm going to check what we have um, in the morning. And if... I think we, if I want to, uh, or if we, our productions haven't produced enough product yet, then I might sleep another day too. Um, so I will bring you back when um, we have enough product from our productions to put a nice big old dent in the sales of it. Okay, so see you in a bit. All right, guys, it is January 1st. <laughs> so I pretty much slept. All the way through December, we had one uh, day where it actually snowed. Um, and of course, the reason why I did that, as mentioned earlier, was because I needed some time for our productions to produce enough stuff for us to make it worthwhile to go out and sell it all. And so that is what we were going to do for the second part of this episode. 
Um, I gotta, okay, I gotta think, <coughs> excuse me, think about this. Probably gonna, we're probably gonna be further ahead to just take a big truck and the flatbed. And we're gonna need a forklift. So, oh, the other thing too I, I need to do is I need to reset the store back to up here because I actually had it set down to where I was logging to deliver a uh, container. So I'm just trying to be somewhat square with this. And then we're going to do Alt Shift S. Okay. So that puts the store delivery spot back there. So yeah, let's just jump in our truck. And we're going to need, uh, we have a forklift up at the steel mill already, but we're going to also need one at the lumber mill. So I think we'll grab this one and just take it down there with us. And uh, see how much money we can make and also make some progress on the, um, the roller coaster too. Um, one of you guys mentioned in the comments a little while back now about getting the uh, the boatyard, and that is in my plans to do. But it's $125,000, and I don't want to take a loan out for that. I think I can get the forklift up there. So, you know, it'll be something we'll pay cash for when the time comes. Uh, but I would like to do it just because it's part of, you know, the features of Silver Run, and it sounds like fun anyway. All right, so we're going to start at the lumber mill, uh, since that's the closest. And we have some prefab walls and we have some we have some oh I guess I should probably lift those back up we're going how come I'm spinning out there we have some prefab walls and we have some uh, what am I trying to say beams wood beams the planks we are distributing directly to the flooring factory so I don't think we'll have any planks to pick up but we should have prefabs and uh, and the beans and those will probably we're probably just going to sell those straight up to well actually no we got to check the roller coaster first to see if the roller coaster needs any of that stuff I don't think it does it will eventually but I don't think it does quite yet I suppose we should go down there and take a look at it first though because I don't want to load everything on the truck and then just turn around and have to unload it again onto the train so yeah, let's do that. Let's go to the roller coaster first and just see where it's at in terms of what it's what it needs. And then we'll just come back to the lumber mill or maybe go hit some of the... We've got a couple of productions in town too. We have the flooring factory and we have the wood turner. And oh, and we also have a wool that we need to transport over to our tailor shop to start making fabric because we will need fabric for both the roller coaster and also for the uh, the boatyard when we eventually get it. I'm curious about something. Let's go take a look at our original property while we're here. I just want to see if the trees that we planted there have um, if they have a growth stage on them yet. Just be curious to see what that looks like. Oh, actually. Yeah, they do, because we planted this property later, and this this has trees starting to grow on it. I, I think... Wait, does it? Okay, hold on a sec. No, I don't think so. Oops. No, it's still... It's still the little guys. Okay, so nothing's come up here yet. You know, even though this is episode, whatever episode it is, and I've been doing this series for a couple of months now, as terms of, you know, time passing by in the game, <laughs> it's, it's only been a few months in the game, even though it seems like, you know, it's been a lot longer than that. But I mentioned this to you, you know, I'm going to start passing the time much more quickly now anyway, um, because I want to see what a planted forest it looks like, you know. And uh, that's, I believe that's going to take, well, actually, I don't, I'm not sure. I've heard two different things about how long it takes for the trees to grow. And one of the species, I don't know if it's the ponderosa or the lodgepole, grows 
uh, matures a lot faster than the other two, but you know, we wouldn't log the property until both species were fully matured. So it could be a situation, yeah, see nothing's come up over here yet either, there's still just the little saplings. Uh, oh, by the way, I sold my original house too, so the house is no longer there. There's, I, I didn't see any point in having it here. Um, anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, um, so our MO moving forward is, I'm going to be moving the time a lot more quickly, so there could be, you know, several several months that go by in between episodes as we move forward because otherwise you know nothing's really progressing all we're doing is logging wild property which eventually you know we don't want to keep doing that and you know even though i make a lot of money doing that it's after a while it's kind of same old same old so it seems to me like we want to you know move things along more quickly It looks like the roller coaster has, has some construction that started on it because we have dropped off, you know, some stuff. I don't know if that section right there was com completely like it is now when we first started. So that's kind of neat to see that. Okay, so let's just take a look and see what this place wants. Okay, so they do need wood beams floor tiles and staircase railing so we are going to need to bring a thousand liters of wood beams over from the lumber yard only 200 liters of floor tiles and then uh, 2016 liters of staircase railing okay let's look at the market here uh, for floor tiles oh man my nose is just killing me today <laughs> been sneezing like crazy okay so Elm Creek, yeah. Well, Elm Creek's always going to have the highest price for sure. So, if we want to if we want to maximize our money, we should probably just always plan on selling to Elm Creek except for what we need to bring over here. Um so that's true for floor tiles, it's probably true for wood beams. Um wood beams. 59, yeah. For iron or for metal, more specifically, Elm Creek is over 6,000 and everything else is 5,000. But we don't need to bring any metal down here right now. Anyways, it has plenty of metal. So we just basically, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a, a quick snapshot of this on my phone. That way I know exactly what we need to bring down here. Okay, so let's go, let's go get the stuff we need for the roller coaster so we can get that, that going. I don't know, maybe that part of the roller coaster was there. I just don't remember. It's been a bit a little while since I was that last or, or paying that close attention to it, I suppose. So we'll run down to the, the lumber yard first. And we will get the wood beams. And then we'll come back and get the floor tiles and the staircase railings. remember if there's a thousand liters in one of these skids or not. I guess we're going to find out here in a moment. Uh, yes, there is. Okay, so we just need one of these for the roller coaster. Actually, I'm going to put these up in front of the trailer. We still don't have a proper first person on this forklift. Okay, so that takes care of that. 
the other two items we need are back into town. Oh, I wanted to call the train. Let's do that now before it gets too far away here. There. Now it should be coming back. Oh, wait a minute. Call train. Yeah. It's it's stopping and going to reverse. Okay, good. That way it's here for us. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, we're good. <laughs> if that thing would have been going at full speed, they would have hit us. But it was slowing down, so. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we'll put our hazards on. Park right on the street. Gonna have to wait. That's all there is to it. Alright, now we're gonna swing up by the uh, wood turner to get the railings. We have a thousand liters of floor tiles. We only need 200 liters, but I can't really sell them a partial pallet, so those we'll have to take a thousand liters. Okay, so we need 2016 staircase railings. That means we're going to need all three of these pallets because we, we can't just do 16. I mean, I'm not sure how we would do that. Let's get that on there a little straighter. Close enough, I guess. Another one popped up. Nice. All right, great. We're going to leave the forklift here because we'll come right back and load the rest of this up for the train station. And here we go. Okay, we made a total of $14,000 off of all of that. Alright, cool. So everything else here is going to go to Elm Creek. Get it loaded up. Okay, let's run down now to the uh, the farm and grab whatever wool our sheep have produced and bring that up to our tailor production, tailoring production. Or no, not tailoring. I'm sorry, weaver, spinnery. Yeah, spinnery. That's what it's called. Oh, look at our grass growing too. That's awesome. You know, we need to actually make a road into here. Um, or we should. 
Yeah, we need to do that. I know you can drive on the hay fields in the game, the game lecture, but it's not very practical, even though I do it all the time on the other series. Another thing I probably won't do uh, in our next series, I want to try and be a little more realistic about things when we start our second season. Uh, okay, so let's go to landscaping and painting and gravel. And we want to increase the size of this, probably make it a circle. And we're just going to basically... Let's get up here a little more. Cut it out. <laughs> I'm pushing on the front of the screen and it's moving the camera. Okay, now when a truck comes through here... Where do they turn around? I suppose we could... Well, here, let's just do it this way. Let's drive in. Well, there's not that much wool there, actually. You know what might make more sense is to drive in and turn right or no I don't know what we'll do here let's come back this way all right so we're gonna come over here landscaping painting and gravel And we're going to do that. Yeah, okay. So what we'll do is we'll pull the truck in here. You know what I'm going to do, you guys? I would be able to pick these individual bales up in real life. I mean, I'm sure they're probably heavy, but I, I could do it. So rather than take the forklift off, I'm just going to... I'm just going to load them by hand. If we had like a whole mess of them, I'd probably use the forklift, but... It's just not enough here to mess around with. All right. Okay, and then when it's time to leave, then we'll just back around like this. We're hitting the grass a little bit, but it's all right. It's not going to kill it. Okay, we'll drop this wool off at the spinnery and get that going. I shouldn't even have even bought that thing until now, but, that, you know, just wasn't thinking right, I guess. Though I don't know that it's cost us any... Yeah, it's probably cost us a little bit of monthly um, money, but probably not a ton. And remember, it's only been like three months anyways. Alright, cool. Uh, so let's go back into here. And for our wood turning... Uh, wood turner, rather. We want to set these back to storing. Okay. And then for our spinnery, uh, we have a little bit of wool, so we want to activate this. Uh, fab, yeah, activate that. And now it'll start making cloth for us. And we want it, it's already set to storing, so that's good. That's not a lot of wool, though. We might... <clears throat> We might want to actually add that second sheep barn at some point. You know, I didn't look to see how much uh, food the sheep have. Oh yeah, they're they're like maxed out. Okay, so they're fine. Excellent. All right, let's move. Go to the flooring factory next and get the rest of the floor tile pallets on our little tour of our our productions here.
Um, people... Alright, you know what? We're gonna just pretend those people aren't there. Because in real life, people wouldn't be that dumb. So we're not actually running them over. They're just not there. And you know what else we're gonna do? I am tired of these moronic traffic dudes, so we're getting rid of them. I can't get rid of the people. Well, actually, can I get rid of the people? Um, traffic, seasonal growth, pause game, da, 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 da. I don't see an option for getting rid of people. Oh, boy, no. Yeah, whatever. Okay, we're just gonna pretend they're not there. <laughs> Look at her walking through my trailer there, for goodness sakes. One of the, part of the problem is that this area is a spawn point for the, for the pedestrians. And it's right next to where you got to load. So probably wasn't the best design decision on the Giants part. Not very pretty. <laughs> no siree. We got it on there. All right. Now paper mills next. Looks like we have two cartons uh, or two pallets of paper and we probably have two cartons as well. There just isn't room for it out here. Well, maybe we don't. It's not popping out. Oh, I forgot to set the, uh, let's see, floor factory, yeah. Flooring factory, we want to set this back to storing. Okay. And while we're here, part and roll. Nope, it, it needs to be 3,000 liters. So I guess we don't have another carton coming here, just the, just the one for the moment. This is kind of tricky because the ground isn't level here. There we Okay, let's set the uh, these back to storing for now. Okay, I will see you guys back at the lumber mill. We will load up the train with this stuff. We'll, we'll load the lumber on the train, and then we'll go grab our iron.
All right, let's see. Um, I mean, I suppose we could probably put a few things on those trailers, but I don't think we need to. I'm mostly just going to load the flatbed up in this car here. So let's jump in the train. I'm going to back it up a little bit, though. All right, let's get this thing loaded up. do the metal in a separate uh, separate load so let's make sure we have uh, let's see we want this trailer strapped and we want to select the second trailer and make sure it's fully strapped too okay let's see what we get for this load Two hundred forty-five thousand nine hundred and eighty-four bucks. Nice. That's pretty decent money. Pretty decent money. Okay, and we still have our, our metal to sell too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the train back, and then I'm going to run the forklift up to our property, because we need a forklift up there for containers, and then I have a, a different forklift up at the metal. Um, actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I was thinking about maybe returning that forklift because I have it on lease to own, but 
I think I'd rather just have a, a forklift up there all of the time. Um, but this this worked out to haul this one around, though. I don't know. I might um, we might just get a one to leave at the lumber yard all the time too. They're not that expensive anyway. They're I don't know thirty five thousand bucks or something. So compared to a lot of the other machinery in this game, that's not a ton of money. Anyway, I'm going to take this one back to the farm. Well, not the farm, the, the property. And then I will meet you guys up at the um, iron foundry, and we'll load up metal, and we'll do another sale on that. All right, guys, we are pulling into the foundry here. Uh, I haven't even checked the ore level in this place for a long time because it just has so much. Um, no, see, see, it still has half of the ore. We got a big pile of it up there too. But uh, unless we were to buy another one of these and put it down somewhere, I don't even know where we would put it. Not a lot of room. Um, we can't really keep up with the the ore production. The ore production is a lot faster than the smelting production. Any hoozle, let's get this stuff loaded up. guys our final pallet here oh my goodness this is taking me a long time in real life <laughs> to load all this stuff I've loaded you know pretty much every single pallet legit too you know with the forklift not with super strength I used super strength a few times to fix some you know some issues but for the most part this has been a legit load um you know I've I've mentioned to you guys before that I operated a forklift for uh, many years in my younger days and I have to say man operating a forklift in real life is a lot easier 
than it is in this game. Uh, at least from the standpoint of, you know, working with the forks to get one of the pallets. It's, it's, there's a very small, it seems, there's a very small um, area that these forks will go under the pallets in this game. And if you don't get it just right, it just, it's a real pain in the neck, man. All right, let's strap that in. Now, the reason, if you're wondering why I put the metal in this car, I thought maybe it'd be easier to load it just because it has had, had the backdrop. And also, these pallets can have a tendency to fall off, um, you know, when the train is going through the tunnel over there. So I thought maybe this will hold them in better. I don't know if it's going to make that much difference or not. But I think next time, I'll probably just load them on the flatbed. I don't know. I mean, it worked out okay. It's, they're just a little jank because, you know, they're not all sitting flat. But it may, maybe that doesn't matter. Okay, let's see how many dineros we make off of this load. Oh, look at that. We already got one that's... Okay, hold the train, hold the train. Um, I don't even know why that one didn't strap, but it didn't. There, now it's strapped. Maybe it just didn't quite register or something. One hundred and ten thousand four hundred and eighty seven dollars. Very nice. Let's run over here and make sure that nothing fell off. Oh, yeah. See, we do have a pallet that fell off one of the lumber pallets. We should be able to just pick it up and. Um, yep, there we go. We sold that. That was a almost six thousand dollars worth of wood right there. Uh, I don't see anything else that has flown off. So I think we're good otherwise. Usually it's just right around in this area if, if there is anything. Fantastic. All right. So um, let's take a look-see and see how much um, we're, we're sending at $398,000. Um, but the actual money that we made uh, gross sales from products was $376,889. <laughs> Now, one thing I'm curious about is um, how much less would that have been if I would have sold this stuff locally, meaning that I wouldn't have had to unload it. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm just trying to decide if it's worth my time in real life because I'm going to kid you not. This took me, you know, this was about a four to five hour, at least a five hour in real time uh, real life for me to record this episode. Of course, it's not going to be that long for you guys because I'm going to edit it way down, but I don't know, man. I don't know if it's worth it, my time in real life to to have to do that much loading just to make, you know, the get the best price from Elm Creek. So in the future, not sure if we're going to keep doing it this way because it's just, that's just too much time, guys. I can't spend that much time on, you know, I, I've got other series going on. I got the normal farming simulator, uh, I got my seven days to die. I've got Icarus. I've got this, you know, and I just can't spend that much time on one single video in real life. Plus, I got work and everything else, too. So, I don't know. In the future, I might either set the productions up just to auto sell and we'll take the hit, uh, which I can actually adjust that anyways with the mod I have. Um, or at least, you know, we'll we'll sell locally. So that means we'll have to load, but we won't have to unload because the unload will just happen, you know, where we sell. I'll have to think about that. Um, but anyway, we did it this time and uh, we made some pretty good money overall. So, you know, $370,000 is nothing to balk at. No siree. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Um, I have, I can't actually leave this here. I have the store, uh, delivery set up at the house. I'm going to buy another forklift. That way, and that way we can ha keep one down at the lumber mill all the time, and I don't have to futz around with, you know, having to drive it around all the time. And I think what we could do, yeah, well, let's just park it under here. I don't see why not. I didn't want to park it in that other shed because that's where you know the lumber spawns in, but it probably won't be an issue if we just park it over here.
yeah let's just go into here and we can we can still do you know a lease to own on it too because it's just not that much that expensive and we're looking for forklifts oh, actually that's going to be over here front loaders let's get the forklifts there we go um this is the this is the bit oh i guess that's fifty eight thousand. I, th I thought it was less than that i must have been thinking of the smaller one and let's just do another lease to own on this and we'll keep that one up at the house so that way we can load containers up there this one will stay here at the lumber mill and then we have the one up at the at the foundry too all right you guys i'm gonna let you go here Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. Oh, you know what? Um, we, we, we have to sell our wood chips. It's January. Uh, let's just double check and see. Wood chips, wood chips. Yes, we need to sell wood chips. I'm not going to do that in this episode. I, I'm completely burned out on this right now. <laughs> Um, but I'm not going to advance time. Um, so in the next episode, we'll, we will, we'll sell the wood chips. We'll do that first before we do anything else. Cause this is the time to say, man, look at the price on that too. 1200. That is amazing. I don't think I've ever seen it that high, at least not on Elm Creek. What does that mean? I guess the price is stable, huh? I've never seen that before. It's always in either green or red. <laughs> How interesting. Um, and it looks like the fire department no yeah this farm is is paying top dollar wow okay so dang it the thing is is sometimes when you log out and then log back in the the price resets that is such a good price oh man all right does it it doesn't tell us how many we have no it doesn't um no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, <laughs> too burned out. I'm not going to do it. I, I mean, we will, we will stay in January and we will sell those in the next episode. I just don't want to do it right now. Sorry. I still have to edit all this too, you guys. <laughs> this is, this is taking forever. I mean, I've had fun though. I mean, it's, it's, it's great. I love, loving this game, loving the logging series, loving the farming series, but you know, enough is enough. I, I got to take a break. Um, after I spend hopefully not more than another hour editing this. Uh, so anyway, that is it, guys, for the episode. I think we already did the outro, so we'll see you when we see you. Bye-bye.